Kyrgyzstán je zemí vysokých hor, nekonečných pastvin a kočovníků. Přesto tady najdeme etnikum, kterému kočovný způsob života není vlastní. Ravilovi je 54 let a na svůj věk je v úžasné formě. Každý den začíná důkladnou rozcvičkou, dechovým cvičením a otužováním v horském potoce. Patří do etnika Dungan, pro které je silné sepětí s přírodou typické. Tady ve vesnici Irdik nenašli Dungani jen úrodnou půdu, ale i nový domov. Dungans, their nationality from China, so they moved here uh, already 160 years ago in 1877. And the reason why they moved it was a revolution, uh, like kind of a civil war in China. They say that uh, Arabian barriers came to China for helping um, Chinese emperor in wars, like for support. And then these Arabian barriers, they fell in love with Chinese beautiful girls and they married. So that's how Dungan people appeared. But actually it was a little bit different. So uh, Arabian barriers, they came like not barriers, but actually traders. They came to China for trade. And then uh, they just showed to Chinese people the, their lives, life style and religion so a lot of Chinese people liked it and they converted to Islam so that's why in China they hold, call it Huizu that translates like Chinese Muslim and here uh, they call Dungan on our language Dungans means people from west uh, because they moved here from west of China that's why we call them Dungans I'm very proud to tell world about Dungans because not a lot of people know about this nationality so I kind of keep it as my mission to tell the world that we have this beautiful nationality, this beautiful uh, culture, because our Kyrgyzstan, our country is very international and we have a lot of interesting things here. So we are so happy to have you and show you who are Dungans. Thank you for finding time посетить наш маленький музей. Зовут меня Дагазиев Лимин. Мое мусульманское имя Рамазан. Российские власти предложили переселенцам два ущелья. Первое это ущелье Каракол, это в сторону Аксу. И второе ущелье, вот это наше Ирдыхское ущелье. По-тунгански это называется Эрдогу. Переводится как второе ущелье. Наши предки выбрали вот это второе ущелье. У нас здесь очень прекрасная природа, чистый горный воздух, очень вкусная чистая вода, горная вода. И живут доброжелательные люди. Школа, значит, наша русскоязычная. В нем преподают, значит, четыре языка. Это государственный язык киргизский. Официальный язык русский и э, наш родной язык тунганский и английский язык. 
Во времена Советского Союза мы учили немецкий язык. Also, when uh, Dungan people moved here, they had a huge impact of Russian culture on themselves. Uh, so that's why they speak uh, Dungan language, which is actually uh, Asian Chinese, but their writing is Cyrillic. So it's basically Chinese words written with Cyrillic letters. Before, when they just moved here, they had still Chinese um, symbols for writing, and then they, some of them were also uh, written in uh, Arabic because they are like converted to Muslims and they were living close to Uyghurs, who is also um, Muslims from China. Ну вот у нас есть свой алфавит. Наши дети, мы дома мы полностью разговариваем только на дунганском языке. Almost no one of um, this generation know how to write in uh, Chinese. All of them are writing in uh, Cyrillic because they have their own newspapers and books which is printed in Cyrillic. For Dungans, uh, especially before it was very strict to marry only Dungans. So if you're Dungan, you can marry only Dungan in case to save uh, like traditions and appearance and language. But nowadays, modern uh, generation, they don't really care about it. So they marry with Kyrgyz uh, and etc. And in case to save their like uh, traditions and language, they are learning about at school. Они друг друга, как говорится, нашли, то мы не противимся. В селе, значит, проживает около девяти наций. Это, значит, в основном пунгане, это уйгуры, это киргизы, это казахи, это калмыки, это татары, это русские, это украинцы и есть узбеки. Вот уже 147 лет, значит, эти национальности живут в мире и согласии, соблюдая свои обычаи и традиции. Вот это краткая история нашего села. В основном, значит, наши э, дунгани это э, занимается торговлей и земледелием. Here you can see one of three uh, Dungan mosques in uh, Central Asia. Also, these kind of mosques, they are special for Dungan people because they are built in Chinese style, like in uh, Pegida style. And um, interesting is that it was built without any nails, like a uh, mosque in Karakul city. So what is the difference between Dungans and Uyghurs? They are both from China. A lot of Dungans and Uyghurs are living in Xinjiang. Uh, and what is, what is actually the difference between them is that uh, like Dungans, they are closer to Chinese culture and Chinese traditions and appearance because they are Chinese, but Muslims. Uh, and Uyghurs, they are closer to Turkic. So for example, if we will, we will compare their languages. So uh, Uyghur, it's like, more similar to Turkish and Uzbek and etc. And uh, Dungans, they are closer to Chinese. And when they moved here, uh, people just accepted them. Uh, they gave them um, options to settle in, to leave. Also, Dungan people brought here culture of agriculture. So they brought a lot of different seeds. For example, before in Kyrgyzstan, we hadn't any uh, like chives or another types of um, vegetables, but they brought it from China. Like it's different types of garlic, like wild garlic and like uh, onion and etc. So also they brought their culture here and um, their cuisine. So that's how appeared the most popular dish in Karakul that's called Ashlenfu, which is actually a mix of Dungan and Kyrgyz dishes. Изначально Ашнефу у нас назывался Лёнфу по-дунгански, что означает холодный крахмал. Это у нас тесто. Накладываем. 
вынем немного. Это у нас крафан. Это у нас соус. Там у меня уксус. Положим сюда джуцай. Красный перец. И обязательно в лазы. Здесь у нас чеснок и а, огонек перец. И еще наливаем уксуса, ага, должно получиться как суп. У přípravy ašlan fu se člověk nezapotí, a u jídla už vůbec ne. Polévka se podává studená. Ale i tak chutná skvěle. Kyrgyzové s nadsázkou říkají, že je Ashlan Fu výborný vyprošťovák. To se ale Dunganů netýká. Ti alkohol nepijí. Dungan food is also special because it consists uh, of vegetables. Kyrgyz people were nomadic. They used to live in the mountains, uh, so they used to move from place to place. So for them was like no points to plant something. So like the Kyrgyz food consists mostly from like dough and meat, uh, but Dungan food consists mostly of uh, vegetables. That's why it's very important. Uh, I mean, and also special, um, especially for Western people who like who are not used to uh, fatty food as in Kyrgyzstan, like uh, also for vegetarians. То, что традиционно мы готовим, она у нас осталась. Те же традиции, которые э, наши предки, как говорится, и обычаи, которые нам предки э, оставили, мы все их соблюдаем. Все обряды делаем, как наши предки делали до сих пор, мы ничего не растеряем. Усилий, которые Дунгани венуи заховавани своих традиций, обдивуходне. Не сбива теди нашим попсат, ач се им их традиции дари предават и надале. Yeah,